Next up, let's talk about LEDs. Now these LEDs that are threaded in, uh, threaded into the um, into the clip frame. I'll put that over there. The LEDs that are threaded into the oh please, the LEDs that are threaded into the clip frame. Uh, they, you have to make sure you get them in the right way. But if you wanted to replace them with a modern equivalent, once again, this is a modern equivalent here. Uh, this is a red King Bright standard LED, and uh, there's really not a whole lot to it, um, as far as uh, as far as this LED is concerned. I mean, you just have to make sure that it's the standard width. Um, I believe this is three millimeters. Um, I'll correct in the notes if it isn't. And basically, uh, that would go inside the clip to replace it. So, I uh, hope that, uh, that sorts that out. Uh, manufacturer's part number here from Mauser for this is a 604... Uh, yeah, there you are. 604WP3. What is that symbol in the middle there? Well, anyway, the manufacturer part number is WP3A8HD. Well, that's an A. So WP3AHD. Um, so that's the Mouser part number. And you can get a comparable one. Uh, this one actually sold out um, when I did it. Now, you might want to know uh, what's the consequence of this. These will run brighter than uh, the original. And there is a mod we're going to do to this board in order to get the LED current up so that uh, they don't flicker when you press multiple ones. And that's that's a Kiwi 6, part of the Kiwi 6 update. Um, he's got, uh, Maria is basically working it so that multiple key, keys can be selected together because there are alternate modes to select banks because of course you get more bank memory on your Poly 6 and that kind of thing. So there's a, a mod I'm going to be doing just to, to prep um, this for Kiwi 6 operation. Um, and then we have pots here that need to be taken out, opened up, cleaned out, and then I'm going to use the oxit on them. So the pots are not going to get replaced. They, in fact, are just going to get opened up, uh, cleaned, reserviced, and then reassembled. Um, and these big multi-switch guys are just going to get a, uh, a straight case of deoxid in them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take them apart or not. We'll, we'll have to see. Same notation for these switches here. They're going to get some deoxid action. They're not going to come out. These ones, um, you know, I, I might actually be able to. Hmm. Uh, I'll probably take them out because I don't want to bend the legs and, and break them. They look like straightforward pots, but I do know from dealing with them, uh, some of them are exceptionally dirty. And some of them are not exactly the same. This EG Intensity one is a different kind of pot, too. So, um, anyway, uh, bottom line is is that I found on these circuit boards, the, the pots can be quite twitchy. So, uh, I'm going to be replacing them accordingly, or uh, opening them up and cleaning them accordingly, and we're going to go from there. All right, so that's enough of me just making this up as I go along. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get back as soon as we have some new switches installed.